Uh, I opened this confessional video with a purple vampire uh, filter because I like to use vampires when it comes to poor Wendy Williams. Of course, the purple's a shout out to Wendy because she loves that color. Um, poor Wendy Williams has been being sucked dry by people for her whole life. And so I tend to use this filter because I feel so bad that this has happened to her. And I do believe that some of her issues come from people taxing her and sucking her energy and sucking her talent and sucking her money. And anyway, so I, uh, I want to start with the fact that Wells Fargo has frozen Wendy Williams assets this last you week. might ask yourself, how is it possible that Wells Fargo would freeze Wendy Williams herself from her own account that has millions of dollars in it, which she earned? Well, turns out she had hired a financial advisor named Lori Schiller, and Lori Schiller told the bank, because she was uh, their key contact, that she felt that Wendy Williams was losing her ability to manage her money and was, I guess, in danger of, um, you know, messing her banking up or, you know, not paying her bills. I'm not sure. There were still millions of dollars in the account. So anyway, shortly after Lori had, I guess, talked to Wendy Williams about her concerns and said this to the bank, Wendy Williams fired her. She probably was scared of her, honestly. Maybe, you know, you wake up and you realize you've given someone the wrong, you know, too much power over your life, <laughs> your financial advisor. So anyway, I guess Lori's position was that she was trying to protect Wendy Williams from people in her inner circle taking advantage of Wendy Williams' finances. But what happened was she ended up locking Wendy Williams out of her own accounts in the process of, I guess, trying to protect Wendy Williams from her inner circle. I mean... So Wendy Williams is really scared because she can't pay her employees. She just was replaced on her show indefinitely and she can't get to the money. Now she had put her son in charge of her finances, which I think is a good move because her son loves her. So I, um, I, I don't know, maybe Lori is feeling like the son can't manage it. I'm not sure, but boy, another lesson, do not give people power over your money, no matter what. It doesn't, it matter, doesn't how matter how busy you are. Let's face it, you earned it. It's your right to spend it, use it, lose it, or whatever else needs to happen, unfortunately. Okay? And I don't trust anyone ever, no matter what. That's it. Because everyone has an agenda, unfortunately, in our world. So, tainted, maybe, but it, that advice could protect you someday in your life. So Wells Fargo's response to Wendy Williams going, I'm outraged that I can't access my own money was Wells Fargo, and I'm quoting, Wells Fargo priority is the financial well-being of Miss Williams and the pr preservation of her privacy. As we have expressed to the court, Wells Fargo is open to working with Miss Williams counsel to release funds directly to her creditors for bills historically and regularly paid from her accounts. Listen. This is not their place to step in. I mean, what right does this bank have to insert themselves over her paying her creditors? They're literally saying that any creditors that she was paying on a regular basis, they want to see those payments happen. And if they're not going to see those payments happen, they're going to take over control over her account. Now, if they're party to those, they're like a partied creditor to the things that they're talking about, for example, a mortgage, a loan, credit card, okay, they have some rights. But if they don't and they're not, then what right do they have to regulate her spending, even if it's irresponsible? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, I smell something really rotten here. I see people taking advantage of the fact that she is not um, conducting herself you know, in her normal full capacity and the vultures are out. Wells Fargo released a quote, Wells Fargo's priority is the financial well-being of Miss Williams and the preservation of her privacy. As we have expressed to the court, Wells Fargo is open to working with Miss Williams counsel, not even Miss Williams, 
her lawyer. So she has to spend a ton of money to interact with the bank now to release funds directly to her creditors for bills historically and regularly paid from her accounts. That's fishy. Isn't that fishy? Let me say that last part again. To release funds directly to her creditors for bills historically and regularly paid from her accounts. Now, what business is Wendy Williams' account of the bank's and or her financial advisor, Lori Schiller, because in reality, it's not their money, is it? I'll tell you what, I don't like to see a woman kicked when she's down. She's got medical problems. She's trying to deal with some crazy family dynamics right now. She's got, you know, she's lost her baby, which is her show because she's, you know, no one will give anybody, you know, 10 minutes to recover in life. As soon as you're not making a money or playing the game, they, you know, everybody leaves the table. I mean, she's only been off air since July of 2021, but she was on the show for like, what, 15 years or something? Like, give the, you know, like maybe give her more than a year to get her shit together. But I, I don't like to see a woman kicked when she's down. And this is a kicking. And you know what she said? She said, until Wells Fargo reopens my personal business, deferred compensation and investment accounts, unfreezes my financial assets, my family and I are at the risk of suffering continue. continued irreparable harm. Okay, and she's in tears as she's saying this. Meanwhile, the ex-husband who, you know, she basically built the show with is probably living in an estate, I think, in Miami, last I checked. And her poor son is trying to get control to help her protect her assets and apparently has been blocked. I'm going to look into this Lori girl. Bank seems to, to, to think very highly of her that she has a 23-year career track record in court. Uh, so they are sticking by Schiller and her recommendations, her fired financial advisor. So let's look into Lori for a minute. When I read that Lori Schiller was a financial advisor, I'm thinking that she's working for an independent like financial management firm like you would see with celebrities. But no, that isn't who she is. She is a financial advisor with Wells Fargo Bank out of New York City. And she says this in her commitment to you. Let me read her commitment to you. As a financial advisor with Wells Fargo Advisors, I can offer you a wide range of services from helping you select individual investments to developing a retirement plan with access to a broad array of company resources, including research, analytics, and economic and market experts. I can help you make informed investment decisions based on your specific needs. Nothing about freezing your accounts in that, but that maybe should be in that commitment to you. So Wendy had a representative of hers release a quote recently, and it said, Wendy wants the world to know that she strenuously denies allegations about her mental health and well-being. And she said in an entertainment, this is her uh, rap said it in entertainment tonight. Um, Wendy had to unfortunately bring the actions because Wells Fargo has refused to honor her power of attorney, granting her son authority to make inquiries to the bank on Wendy's behalf. Wendy further believes that all the false narratives currently making the rounds derive from, from this source, and she is saddened that she once considered this person a friend, and then she's talking about the bank advisor at Wells Fargo. You guys may be wondering why I'm so like upset in this video. I'm upset because you can't keep blaming mental illness for any action that you want to take in our in our world, like with banks or with someone's, you know, personal body or I mean, how many times are we going to hear about corrupt conservatorships, about, you know, institutions stepping out of their lane? We have to not let it go uh, like, oh, she's crazy. Okay, bye. We'll just let that all go. Let all our money be taken. You can't do that. You have to stop as a culture, as a society and go, enough, enough, enough. We're not going to let any more Britney Spears happen. You know, it, it, especially by people who absolutely, you think this financial advisor at Wells Fargo gives a shit about Wendy Williams? She's sleeping great tonight. 
Wells Fargo, you should be ashamed of yourself. Lori's argument is that she, Wendy Williams, is under undue influence. I looked it up. It means influence by which a person is induced to act otherwise than by their own free will or without adequate attention to the consequences. Huh? That's what you're going to rely on? <laughs> how many people... Uh, how many people are looking at consequences in, in their day-to-day -day existence? Since when is that, you know, a merit for, you know, banking? Like, I mean, are we getting a little intrusive? You're going to start telling me, like, I should probably not buy that fat burger lunch soon because it's going to make me fat and I'm not thinking about the consequences of it? I mean, I have a feeling this has to do with debt to Wells Fargo. Just saying. And that's a conflict of interest, I what think. What can I say? I'm just glad I don't bank with Wells Fargo. So you guys, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And stay alert. Times, they are a-changin'.